Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. Um, I'm here for a review. Uh, uh, the, this guy is DrunkMonk777 and he asked me... Uh, I'll read out this comment out loud so you know what, I, what he asked. Uh, can you please do a review on my monsters? Mainly looking for advice on building arena offense and arena defense team, teams. And prioritize uh, in the game like leveling to 6 star or rune or rune runs ok yeah for arena offense I'm running with Chloe, Light Inigami uh, Water Chimera and the fourth is depending on the opponent ok uh, for example Fire Hellhound or the Water Ninja currently I'm leveling my Water Self so she'll so she Currently, I'm leveling my water self, so I will be uh, that will be the second attacker for arena defense. Oh, okay, that will be the second attacker for arena defense. I'm using Chloe, Lightning, Ungami, Water, Chimera, and Rina. So let's take a look at these monsters. Oh man, I should have gotten myself some coffee. I can always already feel my throat. Um. <laughs> uh, Okay, we got uh, your water chimera, we got the Chloe. Um, let me think how I'm gonna do this. Uh, first, first I'll talk about which unit I think should be uh, should be in your lineup. Um, should I do it like that, or should I first talk about the runes? Now I'll do the units first. Okay, um, Susano, don't like. I don't really like Susano. How long do I do like? Um, let me think. Yeah, and for the rest you have. Yeah, okay. I know. I already checked those monsters. Okay. Um. For arena offense, uh, I think you do a pretty de decent job. I mean, your uh, Tyro is probably doing a lot of damage. And you have his skills leveled up and all that. Uh, I do think... Uh, I do think you want to work on your crit damage uh, even more if you and trying to get those nice rooms. But as you... See, I mean, I'm agreeing on the stats you use, but because you only have one attack percent rune here, this damage is not really uh, gonna be super great. But I don't know, maybe when he crits, he does probably a lot of damage. I guess I'm not sure. Um, I would suggest you to try to get some sub stats with some accuracy, because then uh, his last skill has a better chance of freezing some monsters. And to be honest, I know why you run the speed for him, because the faster your attack speed, the greater the damage becomes. I am just that not sure if it's going to be better to run the speed rune on slot 2, or to have a attack percent rune there. I don't know uh, how big the difference is uh, between the damage then. That's something you might want to try out on the rune removal day, try to switch that rune for an attack percent rune and see how the damage is on this second skill uh, there we go, and then on this squog and then switch it back again uh, and check what, what the difference is and then also check for the other skills of course because I think uh, the attack percent rune is gonna do more for the unit but I'm not sure, I mean it's not bad the speed rune but uh, I'm not sure um, okay, we have that. It's a good unit for offense. We got Chloe, definitely really good. Um, yeah, and right off the bat, I know your speed is way too low. Uh, I actually start talking about the runes when I was saying I should talk about the offense, right? I'll just go for the runes and then just tell which units are good for uh, your teams. Okay, this is, has to become a speed rune as the at the highest quality, like you have to try to find a speed rune uh, plus uh, 5 or 6 stars and then plus 15 it. Uh, 
try to find any kind of speed rune you have that is five stars or six stars and put it on doesn't matter which set it is then you have to switch out the one of the energy runes to be a swift rune because you want to have the swift set and then you can drop the energy set it doesn't matter you just need to have the six star slot speed rune on this uh, on this slot also what I would suggest try to get substat speed like this swift rune is pretty cool pretty good upstats but no, no substat speed and that's where Chloe is for it man try to get that also this rune no substat speed here you just got two that's just way too few here you don't even have subset speed and also this room doesn't have subset speed so you need to work on his, er, Chloe's speed because that's gonna be your bread and butter of the team on any kind of team arena offense, arena defense so that's something you have to take into account because now your Chloe won't be super good um, you were talking about uh, Susano I don't really like the unit too much, it's just not the greatest skills. I don't think um, he's gonna be great for you. Also resistance on him is not really useful. I would go I would just go with deck percent on this rune slot as well if you wanna use him. Uh, your seek is a pretty good unit because you could buff uh, your team. And since you don't have a well you have Shannon up here. Uh, Shannon could also be a useful unit for you. I think Shannon might even be better considering your Chimera already has 100% crit. Uh, then I would actually go with Shannon on your offense instead of uh, your Sieg. Reason being is because the crit uh, rate bonus is not going to affect your, your ty Tyro, your Water Chimera. Because he has 100% crit. You could also uh, decide to drop uh, some crit rate on him. And then go for... Well, I it is because really you have this rune, his crit rate is so high. So I don't think you should drop it. I must say, I, I don't like your, your, sub, your overall stats on uh, the Water Chimera. I feel like they're too low. I feel like your HP is quite low, he's, he's probably gonna get one shot it. Uh, I feel your, like your attack is not really high. So what I would, I would personally rerun uh, the unit uh, for maybe... Actually, I think what I would do... Let me just check this out quickly. This gets buffed from attack speed and you get attack speed buff if you get a crit. Yeah, okay, what I would do with this unit is probably Fatal Focus or something like that. Why, why is that? It's because then you get a bit more accuracy, so your last skill could uh, have a, has gotten a better chance to actually uh, freeze some guy, some of the units. And just try, try to get some, some decent crit as substats, but don't uh, put the uh, runes for that. And then I would just go attack percent on, on 2 and 4, and then keep the speed on uh, on 2 I know sorry I mean speed on 2 uh, 4 and 6 should be attack percent then I think that would be better for Taru because then the fatal will give you a lot more attack and the two attack percent runes will give you more attack and try to get some substat with HP because his HP is so low right now uh, I think you need to find something with substat uh, HP percent to boost that up because uh, he's just gonna die in one hit right now at least that's how I feel about him um, what else yeah your uh, Chloe I talked about that and I would definitely go for your uh, Shannon right now but uh, when you drop some of the crit rate on Taruk then Seek might be the better option because he actually gives the crit rate but now uh, Seek is useless, so that's what I would definitely do. I would ruin him for Fatal Focus, uh, Attack Percent on 6 and 4, and a Speed Rune on 2. Then I would uh, use your Seek. I would re uh, probably I would make him better as well. Yeah, your runes are pretty terrible on Seek. I would definitely go uh, get some stronger runes. 
on him. I mean, the setup you used is fine. Uh, you went for crit damage on him. Uh, I wouldn't go for crit damage. I would just go speed, attack percent, attack percent. And you could actually mix it up with an HP percent rune as well. Because you want Seek to be alive uh, for some boss. But I think attack percent would be better. So I would definitely go with Swift. Uh, and Blade is fine. But then attack percent on 2. On 4 attack... Uh, sorry. Speed on 2. Attack percent on 4. And attack percent on 6. And I would definitely try to get some better runes for him. Because he's quite weak right now. And then there's your... Uh, fort unit it does really depend on your enemy but you have some good two forty units i think you would go with um, tyrone uh, as your leader that's what i think try to get uh, when you finally ruin him up try to get uh, a high percentage accuracy so go attack percent attack percent uh, accuracy percent because you want to use him as as your attacker um, that will help you with uh, yeah, that will definitely help you with some of the damage and control, but try to get a high accuracy percent. So, uh, yeah, that would be a very good offensive team, because both uh, Tyrgor and uh, I think, well, Tyron doesn't really benefit from, well, actually, I think she has a skill which benefits from crits. Yeah, see? Decrease your crit rate for three turns. Well, that's not... No, okay, she doesn't have that, but she will have a lot of crit if she gets the buff from herself and and otherwise from Sieg. So that could help her your DPS. So yeah, okay, I will go Tyron as your leader, together with Tauk, uh, Chloe and uh, Sieg. There is obviously a problem if they run a lot of uh, wind units, but I must say there are more fire teams out there than wind. Uh, so I think that wouldn't be too much of a problem. Then for arena defense, uh, let me see, you were running arena defense, I'm using Chloe, Light Inigami, the Chimera, Arena. Okay, here's the thing, uh, your Chimera is terrible uh, on defense because his health is nowhere near... Um, I mean, it's a decent unit as defense, but she, he needs to be better. He needs to be stronger than... You need to get some uh, better runes on him. Um, and... Um, yeah, if you would have him a bit more healthier, because now he's probably getting one shot. And your Chloe is really slow uh, compared to the other Chloe's, because you have no subset speed on any of the runes. And your speed rune is pretty, sa uh, pretty bad. So... That I would definitely uh, not use it. Well, I I mean I could you could use the water chimera on your defense, but I would rerun him for that. Um, Chloe is fine on defense. You use your light in guy, very strong unit on defense. Uh, really good actually. You did ruin him. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you. Okay, this rune, the six slot needs to be accuracy percent. The reason for that is because you want to hit the Siege, that's uh, Siege, attack, removes all benefits effects, and you want to hit the defense buff on them. So, uh, every, you rune them correctly, but then just make this an accuracy percent rune. Um, so, very good defensive unit. You were saying that you use um, your Rena as defense. I think that's a fine unit for defense, but I must say uh, now you have a team of three support and one attack unit. The, the attack unit is really weak right now, which probably will make uh, your defense fail a lot of the time. So you could do two things, make your tire a lot stronger or maybe switch them even out for uh, a team that's just a bitch to kill. So then you could put in, for example... Uh, Aemon, Aemon, uh, Belladon, Rena, and Chloe, or you could, for example, use your Light Fairy even, although I think not, your Light Fairy is not going to be great, too great. Um, but Ultimatum, I would actually go with Chloe, uh, Tyrock, 
Tyron and Belladon on your defense and then make Tyron your leader. The, this way if you need to have your Chloe fast but this way your Chloe is going to get the speed leader from Tyron um, which will make her a lot faster than you, she could use Fnatic uh, first then they will attack you because the other units of your are somewhat slow uh, your Ty Tyru plus your uh, Tyron can control with their last skill they have a good chance of freezing them and your seek is that to just put that defensive buff and dispel people and keep your alive I think that would be a really good uh, setup there um, what should I do what should you 6 star next um, I would say I would say I, I think I would go for uh, Tyron or Belladon. Tyron is really good because you're going to use him on Arena offense and defense probably. And uh, for you it's going to be your next attacker. So I think Tyron is probably the best for you. And after that Belladon, because Belladon is going to be great for defense but also for offense. And I think Tyron, Belladon, uh, Chloe and the Water Chimera Tyroar, so it's such a weird name, is a pretty good offense uh, as well as a defense. So, yeah, definitely uh, the reason why I like the Water Chimera so much uh, in offense and defense is because there are so many uh, fire units out there that are really uh, strong to beat, like the Arnolds and the Permas. Perma is the fire phoenix, and Arnold is the fire death knight. So I think those units will benefit you quite a bit. Um, yeah. So I I would go for Tyron and after that Belladon. Uh, you said something about um, rune runs. Basically, uh, I put a video up where I show you a team to auto uh, Giants B10, or you could manually do it as well, of course. Um, and I would suggest you watch that because you have quite a lot of the units you already have. The team consists out of uh, a cases which you have, uh, Bernard and Shannon. Um, furthermore, there's going to be. Let me see. That you need one. I think you might have the unit already. Let me see if you have it. Okay, you currently don't have it, but the Wind Yeti really is to obtain. And I use my Orochi for uh, I use my Orochi for the attack, but you could also go with uh, let me think. You want to have a wind unit for that? I saw it. I saw something that was good. Yeah, the wind Rashasa. She could be very good. Yeah, she would be perfect. But I will uh, put a link in the description about that uh, B10 video. Uh, that would be uh, something you could uh, start farming your uh, giants high and when you farm giants you could get better and do dragons as well. Um, so yeah, I hope this was useful for you. I hope I did explain everything you need to know. I'll see you in the next video and uh, let me know if this was useful in the comments below. See ya!